Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Director G's of Movie Reviews, where we rate movies and TV shows new and old. Now, without further delay, let's get into our next review. All right, in this video, we're going to be diving into the biggest hit so far of 2024, Deadpool and Wolverine. Starring Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman and a lot of other cameos that I don't want to spoil for you, but you will be blown away. First off, this is the first R-rated Marvel movie, and trust me, it deserves that R rating. From the language and explicit violence, you know, I was kind of shocked that it, it actually came from Marvel from all their other movies. But I think they needed to change because the last few movies, they have not performed well at the box office, and I personally didn't like I, I quite a few of them. Thor, Love and Thunder. This movie is about Wade Wilson, who, aka Deadpool, who has lost his place in the world after being denied from becoming a, an Avenger six years ago. He's at a low point in his life until the TVA recruits him on a mission to try to save the world. The TVA, you would know about that if you watch the show Loki. Realizing he can't do this alone, he decides to recruit his old idol, Wolverine, who was also at a low point in his life. The TVA, they're like a time police. They're like the pretty much the FBI who control all of the multiple branching timelines. Alive is hungry. There's been some kind of mistake. Big Yellow is a backup anchor being, and I'm Marvel Jesus. MJ, if you're nasty. This may be hard to hear, but there's another British villain. He's gonna destroy my universe, and I'm gonna stop him. Oh, honey, you don't really strike me as a world-saving type. The story flowed well. I was entertained completely during the movie's two-hour run. It was over the top, but that was a good thing because that's what I was expecting. That's what you were expecting if you watched Deadpool 1 and 2. The action was choreographed well. The special effects were top-notch. The chemistry between the two leads was seamless. Deadpool Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, they killed it. These guys were comfortable with each other, and you could just tell that they were just flooring off each other as the movie went throughout. Disney did not hold any punches, literally. It was also hilarious throughout the whole movie. What also makes the movie whole is the emotional layer behind it. If you've been a fan of Marvel movies since the beginning, you're going to love it. There's a lot of fanfare. There's a ton of jokes thrown at 20th Century Fox. Also, there was a lot of jokes thrown at Honda. I didn't, I didn't get that, but I've had to do my research on that and check to see what's up with that. If you've seen the first two Deadpool films, you'll know it's more of what made the first two films good, but now it's on a grander scale. The soundtrack is... Like in the previous movie, satisfying. Fit with all the scenes. Actress Emma Corrin was good as playing the villain Cassandra Nova and such a good... She was a good addition to the movie and to the MCU as a whole, you know. She was smart, strong, cold-blooded. And she was also making fun of the Deadpool Wolverine. So they were, you know, piggybacking off each other. There's so many Easter eggs. It's so true to the comic book characters. And may have possibly single-handedly saved the MCU universe. Film universe. It's one of the best movies of the year. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Cinematic masterpiece. This is what you want movies to do. Make you laugh. Entertain you. Make you wanting more. Just make you feel like the runtime is just, you know, it feels like, wow, is this 30 minutes? And it's actually two hours have passed. Those are the kind of entertaining movies I like to watch. To be drawn into that type of world. If you've seen it, let me know what you think in the comments. We can either agree to disagree, you know, this is always your opinion versus my own, but everything's up for debate. So until the next review, you stay safe, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Director G. Take care.